Hey San Antonio, great news! The Monarch and Pollinator Festival is coming to Brackenridge Park and we have someone special to tell you all about it. We're also talking to someone from our Clean and Green team to share how they're beautifying our parks. We use the Monarch as sort of a way to get people in the door of conservation to kind of understand, look this is important, you know, you think it's just a bug or an insect, but it actually has a job to do. And Monarch's job in my view is to convince the world that insects are important and that pollinators in particular are very important. People typically think of insects as a pest and they're irritating and they're ugly and they're scary and they don't understand them. But honestly, insects are kind of like the ecosystem workers that weave everything together. Pollinators are hugely important to our ecosystem. I know we talk about monarchs all the time, but pollinators, there's hummingbirds, there's bees, there's so many different things. So they basically pollinate almost like 70 to 90% of our food source. So without the pollinators, our food source literally will go away. Monarchs in general are not the most efficient pollinators. They're kind of this, I call them the gateway bug. They're kind of these ambassadors for all pollinators and kind of make you pay attention and understand. Once you notice, then you start paying attention and then you start to care and understand and then you start to take care of the ecosystem. So we launched a greening initiative last year with parks and our first project was at Woodlawn Lake Park and we installed our first formal pollinator garden there which is actually a monarch weight station, it's registered. Uh, we have future projects coming up slated for this year at Hemisphere Park, at Dory Miller, and then also at Barber Street Park. We are in the heart of what's called the Texas Funnel. All of the monarch butterflies east of the Rocky Mountains funnel from Canada to, and the east coast through Texas to get to Mexico, and we're right in the heart of that flyway. For monarchs, this is a very strategic and important place because we're the first stop in the spring and they need milkweed to lay their eggs, and we're one of their last stops in the fall where they need nectar and flowers to fuel up and build their fat stores. Basically, the National Wildlife Federation lets us know how to certify a garden, so we look at their checklist. You have to have uh, pollinator plants, so, so nectar plants. You have to have food plants, which is milkweed. And then you have to have host plants where they're actually going to crystallize on and become a, a, a monarch. So peak monarch migration uh, for San Antonio is typically the 10th to the 22nd, but basically the whole month of October is, is pollinator month in San Antonio. We have about a dozen events unfolding, but the big event is October 8th here at the Pecan Grove at Brackenridge Park from 10 to 2. Uh, we'll be doing monarch tagging. You can tag a monarch and, and honor someone who died. We're going to have a, a Forever Journey altar, Day of the Dead altar over there. Uh, artist Terry Ibanez is making that for us. There's news of a caterpillar train. I'm hearing some rumors about that, that you know we may have an actual caterpillar train weaving through the, through the whole park. This whole area in the Pecan Grove will be activated with 20 or 30 booths of like-minded, mission-aligned uh, education partners, we call them, and they'll have all kinds of activities. We'll be there handing out free native plants and milkweed, so we're probably going to be giving about 1,700 plants away during that event. We also get one-on-one -on -one time, so if you have questions, you can bring them to us. We'll have professional staff there to answer your questions. We're here to help, and you know, at that event, you have one-on-one -on -one time with a professional, so it's a great event to come to. And you can find uh, more information at the Texas Butterfly Ranch website, texasbutterflyranch.com. There's a whole festival page there, uh, and please check it out, and we hope to see you there. For more information, visit our website and follow us on social media.